Good morning, my name is Gaijin. Here are some tips to give you an advantage now that Veil has finally entered early access. You can change the color of your sights and player highlights. Their default is red for both, but this can lead to your sights blending in on enemies, especially at long range. I recommend changing these to contrasting colors. I have my enemy highlights set to neon green and my sights as neon pink. Here are the exact values and you can find these under the gameplay tab in the settings. Aiming your gun makes you move slower, but you move slowest with a rifle, fastest with a pistol, and somewhere in the middle of those with an SMG. But when pointing your gun downward, you move just as fast as if you were empty handed. So make sure to keep your gun holstered or pointed at the ground until you expect to take a fight. If you're ever struggling with pistols and the angle of your sidearm feels unnatural, you can adjust the angle the handgun rests in your hand by navigating to the gameplay tab in the settings menu, and you can choose between three different angles and find which one feels best for you. There are currently three grenades in the game, frag, flash, and smoke. Activate any grenade by squeezing the trigger and throw it where you want it to land. Frags have a three second fuse after activation, and at that point it will start beeping. Enemies can hear that beeping though, and it can serve as a warning. If you throw a frag too soon, your opponents will have more than enough time to avoid it, so you want to get that timing right. Flashbangs pop only two seconds after activation, and they will blind anyone looking at them within a certain range. They will be blinded longer if the flash pops closer to them than if it blinds them from a distance, but if the flash is very close to you, it will blind you, even if it's behind you, rewarding those who take the time to practice precise flash throws. Smoke grenades will bloom three seconds after activation, and they will deny line of sight where it lands for 15 seconds. Anyone inside a smoke will start coughing, which everyone can hear. So if you want to push a smoke, throw a flash through first. If you're having trouble running the game smoothly on low settings, go into visual settings and turn on AMD FSR. FSR stands for Fidelity Super Resolution. Essentially, it lowers the game's render resolution, anti-aliases it, and upscales to the resolution of the output to your headset. But I don't recommend anything other than quality. It will make your game look a bit more pixelated. It's not very noticeable in this video, but you will definitely notice it in your headset. If you're like my randoms and happen to play Team Deathmatch while eating a bag of chips in a wind tunnel, oh my god, you're, you're so black. You are, it's probably best to mute your mic unless you have something important to say. So under the audio tab in game, there's an option for push to talk. Once enabled, you can activate your mic just by pressing down on your left thumbstick. One dead bridge. Oh, what? Out, aim in. If you're shooting at an enemy and a hit below the waist, the damage will be reduced. If you're using a rifle, the damage is reduced by half. If you're using an SMG or pistol, it's reduced by one third. Either way, the time to kill is increased, but it puts rifles at a disadvantage in close quarters if you don't hit an instant headshot. The guns in Veil also have damage drop off. That means as your target is farther away, your shots will do less damage. I asked one of the developers what the drop off stats are and this was their response. Each gun has a slightly different fall off per gun. It depends on the caliber and barrel length of the gun. In essence, your SMG will be a pea shooter at long range, but a rifle will do much better in those engagements. Whenever an opponent or teammate dies, they drop everything they were carrying. This includes guns, ammo, and grenades. So if you have a free inventory slot, you may as well take their stuff. They're not using it anyway, and their dropped utility could make the difference in whether or not you went around. And if you've watched this far into the video, please consider a like. If you want more Veil videos and content, please subscribe. And I hope this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.